up, guys? This is Lucy Polgar from Last Bastion, sponsored by Fight Division. I'm currently here with Alex Jones in a pretty unusual format for an interview, but he's very kindly agreed. He's got um, his leg elevated at the minute with a slight injury, but he did win quite comfortably with a unanimous decision. Alex, thanks so much for doing it, especially under these circumstances. Um, might be a silly question, but how are you feeling? So, all my left leg's completely gone, but uh, mental-wise, I feel pretty good. Second, second professional fight. Uh, I feel like I could have done more, but so far in my performance, considering I think I could have done more. Yeah, definitely. So you're saying, like, um, obviously, physically, you have got an injury at the moment, um, but mentally, you're feeling quite good about it. Yeah. This was your, your first A class, like, so how are you feeling? Second, not, uh, sorry, second, second A class, class, but obviously, um, the the pressure of being the main event as well. Like, did yeah. that did that get to you? So obviously, well, you've not you've not done many before, and being the main event, how how did that pressure sort of get to you at the beginning? At the beginning, a few hours before the fight, it was quite nerve wracking. Mm. I didn't really know what to expect, but before I walked out to my fight, I, I just settled in. Got, I got used to the crowd out there. Yeah. So I, I, I spent at home, yeah. Manchester, my hometown. Everyone out there is from Manchester, so it did help a lot with it being in my hometown. So walking out, it wasn't too bad. It was, it was pretty cool, pretty calm. So yeah. I feel like you had um, you had the crowd behind you like straight away. Like there was uh, they were singing. Uh, was it who let the dogs out? And then everyone chanting. Is that is that like part of the chant for you? It's our um, Jim's nickname, the dogs. Ah, right, okay, So cool. that's why we all chant that. Yeah, you definitely had the, the whole crowd behind you. Um, I was watching an interview that you did before the fight and you were saying that um, you, you don't tend to like watching too much the, the opponent beforehand. So was that the case with him? You didn't really watch? I, I've, I literally watched three rounds of his last fight on Sion Warriors. It's probably about five, six months ago now, right. I think it was. Um, I knew he comes out with his hands and low kicks, but he come out quite slow today from round one because obviously it's a big height difference so I knew he was going to be quite like what's the word like can't think of the word now but I knew he weren't going to come out straight away yeah hesitant that's the word knew yeah. he was going to be a bit back and forth but uh, once he got settled and started kicking with our leg kicks he thought it was working but just I don't I, I never go down in the fight <laughs> so it weren't going it weren't going to stop me with leg kicks would have had to do a lot more than that no, it definitely didn't stop you. So that's one of the things that I noticed. Like the first, I'd say the first two rounds, your energy was unbelievable. Like you were just constantly aggressing, constantly moving forward. Is that um, something that you'd planned specifically, specifically for him after watching and thinking that he would be hesitant? Because in the first two rounds, you, you were really putting it on him. I knew I had to be quite aggressive. That's not normally my style. Mm. But with him being a lot older than me, I knew he's possibly got a bit more experience behind me. So I knew I had to put the pressure on him to try and put him off coming forward. Because if he started coming forward at me, me had probably gone, I don't know, because I'm not used to that. I'm used to having the range, but I knew we were going to call it a leg kick, so I had to aggress. And I think it worked, hence the eight count in the first round. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think uh, just, just touching on range there as well, I feel like that was one thing that I noticed as well f throughout every round. You did a really good job of like gauging his range. So you were doing, you were, you were um, sort of just pulling out of his range and then he was like doing a swing and a miss and then you were stepping back in straight away, yeah. which obviously is like really tiring him because there was a few, he's really loading up on these shots, loading up on these hooks and you were just pulling back. So is that, again, something that you'd like sort of planned based on the height difference? Well, yeah, because we knew he'd come out like that yeah. so I kind of trained to to move back but I let myself down a bit because we did train to let him swing and miss yeah. and then I strike but I was too hesitant striking him because he, every time he missed he's, he's dead unorthodox mm. so I didn't know whether he was going to throw an elbow out or nowhere or, so it made me think that that's why I wasn't doing my best Trying to protect. and going straight back forward because I was mm. a bit wary of because he's so unorthodox, he could have threw anything. Yeah. But I thought, I don't want to get caught by a stupid shit from mm -hmm. someone who's not as good as me. Yeah, so yeah. I had to, like, think twice about what I was throwing or when I was throwing it. Yeah, definitely. I think that's a, that's a sensible decision as well. So, obviously, now now you have got the win, like, obviously, and we've got your legs elevated at the moment, quite a bit of bruising. What What is the next step for you? Have you got any fights already booked in or, like, no. how long do you think no you'll fight. be sort of... No fights booked in as yet. Um... Might have a few months out over Christmas and then probably back into it a couple of months after Christmas, see what shows are out there. Probably the next fight's probably going to be on this show again. Yeah. Because he's planning on doing another one, but I'm not sure when that is yet. 
but we'll see what's out there after Christmas. So for 2023 then, like, what is, what's your goals? Is it just activity again? Just like you say, seeing what's out there. Do you want to go for any belts? Any, any particular fighters? I'm in no rush really. I'm just taking my time because I'm still new with the A class. Yeah. Still new. Um, so I'm just taking my time, not rushing to, you know, five, six fights a year again. I'm just taking my time, seeing how it goes. Mm -hmm. If the right fight comes, the right fight comes. I mean, I'm not going to pick and choose your fight, but if my head's not in it for the fight, I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. But just see how it goes really after Christmas, see what's about and that, see who's about. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, um, the, the again, just before the fight, you said that you was expecting to win. So is that something like you're saying, like if you're not in that mindset before you go in, you, you don't want to take the fight, you want to make sure you're always going in thinking that, thinking that you are going to get the win? Yeah, if it's in my head that I could possibly get beat, a chance of me getting beat pretty high. Mm. But that's why I always go in with a positive mindset. Yeah. Even if I know they're better than me, yeah. I'll go in with a positive mindset so I don't get beat. Because if I go and think I'm going to get beat, you're going to get beat. Yeah, Anyone will say that. Yeah. Well, um, you definitely predicted right tonight. You did say you expected the win. You got the win. Um, obviously, thanks so much for doing the interview, especially in this format. We really, really do appreciate it. That's a, a true champion. Uh, just before we let you go, have you got anyone you want to shout out? Any sponsors? Uh, so we can tag your gym. Any personal Instas or anything that we can tag on? Just uh, crazy my Thai, my gym. Uh, getting pushy, always pushing me through fight camps. David Knowles, my coach, known as Pitbull, um, constantly pushes me all the time. Even when I feel shit, I can't be asked to go to the gym. He'll make me come in the gym, mm. go running first. And then the last one, my girlfriend, Beth, mm -hmm. just sticking by me in fight camps. Yeah. I know it can get quite hard for you, you know, close people to stick around when you're hungry and yeah, kicking off all absolutely. the time. <laughs> you, when you're in fight, when you're in the last couple of weeks of fight camp, I know it can get quite hard, but she sticks by me. Yeah, amazing. Well, listen, thanks so much for your time. And obviously we'll, we'll leave you to rest up and ice up. And uh, yeah, we really appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go.